Hey everyone, so today I created this dramatic teal smoky eye. I used mostly drugstore products. It was a lot of fun to create. It was really easy. I hope you enjoy. I'm just using a hair tie to tie up my hair away from my face so that the makeup application will be a lot easier. Because this look is quite dramatic, I'm going to be using sellotape around my eyes before I apply my foundation just because it will help give us a nice crisp line at the end of our smoky eye. Right now I'm just getting rid of some of the stickiness so that it does not hurt your eye with my fingers just dabbing it so that some of the stickiness comes off and then I'm applying it to the corners of my eyes just to the desired shape. Now I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Peacock as the base for my eyeshadow. I haven't found that this product creases on me, so I'm going to apply as much product as I need and I'm going to blend it out until it is seamless and perfect. Next, I'm going to use the blue Had Me At Hello eyeshadow palette from Wet n Wild. I'm going to use this teal eyelid color as the first color, and I'm just going to pat this all over the lid using a flat eyeshadow brush. Next, I'm going to use Max Texture Eyeshadow on a big fluffy brush to blend out those edges and to create a transition color for the next couple of colors that we're going to be placing in our piece. You should take as much time as you want blending this eyeshadow out because this is a very important step. Um, don't forget to blend that eyeshadow over that set of tape to create that really crisp, clean line. Don't worry if it's messy, that's kind of the point of a transition color. It just helps everything blend out seamlessly. Next from the Wet n Wild palette, I'm going to use this navy blue crease color and I'm just going to create a nice outer V as well as taking this color into the crease. Next I'm going to take the sparkly black shade here from the Wet n Wild palette and I'm going to put this into the outer corner and slightly into the crease just to add some more depth and definition. Due to all 
the blending, we lost some of that teal blue color that we originally had on the lid. So now I'm going back in with that teal blue color just to build up that color once again and bring the opacity back. Next, I'm going to take this shimmery white color and I'm going to use this with a pencil brush to highlight my inner corners. Next up, I'm going to use this liquid eyeliner by Wet n Wild. This one is the Mega Liner, and I'm just going to create a dramatic wing on, obviously, both of my eyes. Now I'm going to remove the sellotape and oh, crisp, pretty lines. Um, now as you can see, the eyes do look a little bit wonky, but don't worry, we're going to fix it up in a second. So as you can see, we are busy taking a big fluffy blending brush with no additional product and I'm just going to blend out those edges. And by bending out these edges, it will smooth that harsh line up just a little bit because that clean, clean, crisp look isn't very flashing on most eye shapes. So I'm just blending those harsh lines out. Now I'm just going to use that flat shader brush with that same teal blue color from before and I'm just going to apply this to the lower lash line. Tell me what you On the same flat shader brush, I'm going to take that navy blue crease color that we used earlier and I'm just going to mix that in with the teal color on the lower lash line. Now I am just using the same highlight shade as before to clean up that inner corner highlight as well as bring it underneath the lower lash line just a little bit. Now I am just going to apply any eyeliner that you prefer into your waterline and tight line. Now I'm going to use my favorite mascara to apply tons of mascara to give me lots of length and volume. I think that false eyelashes would have looked stunning with this look, but I completely forgot about them. So feel free to apply some falsies if you please. Now we are going to be moving on to the face and I'm going to start off with my MAC Prep and Prime as my primer. Next I'm going to use the Revlon Colorstay Foundation in True Beige and I decided to go with this foundation because it is a full coverage foundation and when you're wearing a dramatic eye look, I believe that a full coverage foundation complements the look perfectly. I 
I somehow managed to miss the clip of me highlighting my under eyes as well as my forehead. I am aware that my forehead is not completely blended out right now, but I'll, it will be soon, don't stress. I then went on to highlight my cupid's bow and on my chin. And right now I'm doing my eyebrows and eyebrows are boring and not fun to watch. So moving on. I'm now using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Plus to set my foundation. Next up, I'm just going to warm up my face using my Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer. Now I'm using my NYX blush in Pinched to bring back some colour to my cheekbones. Next, I'm going to sculpt off my face using the MAC bronzing powder for my contour. And I'm going to contour my cheekbones, my forehead, underneath my chin and around my nose. Don't forget to contour your nose even if you don't need to because it will just bring the entire look together by having that one piece of contour there in the middle. Next up, I'm going to use a large stippling brush just to blend everything together because I felt it looked rather harsh. And this is a really good tip for your face products. If you feel that everything looks a bit disjointed, just use a nice big stippling brush to blend it out. For my lips, I'm using MAC's Angel Lipstick. And this is the final look. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Tell me what you